These cute baby socks are easy to knit. We knit them flat, back and forth, starting here, that way. And they are also easy to customize so that you can make many different kinds. This here part is always the same. You just knit back and forth, but then you can use your imagination for this here part. This one has stripes. This one has little holes like in lace knitting. And this one has two colors like in fair eye knitting. Or you just select a lovely color and make them in one color like this here. I also have the instructions written down in my blog. See the link in the top right corner here and in the video description. Especially after making one sock using this video, you will probably remember the basic way and you can just get the number of stitches and rows from the blog. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. First you need to cast on 44 stitches. Just use any way of casting on that you like. I'm using the long tail cast on. So I have this here yarn that I'm using for it. and cast on 44 stitches. Now I have 44 stitches and for the first part we simply knit back and forth. In other words, it's the garter stitch. Just going back and forth, always knitting. Again, you can knit with whatever technique you find easiest. I knit continental and I hold the yarn like this here tightening it with these here fingers. Always zip the first stitch and then just knit. You knit to the end and then we'll turn and continue. Here I'm at the end and then I turn and again to start the row slip one and then start to knit. And this is what you'll do. So knit back and forth 18 rows. 18 rows all together. And this is what it looks like in garter stitch. The way you count the stitches is to count these here ridges you get and you get one for every second row. So that's two, four, six, eight, and 10 rows. So I'll continue until I get 18. So here's 18 rows now. And then on the next row, you cast off the first 10. Cast off or bind off, whatever you call it. Just ordinary casting off. That's three. Here, 10 cast off. And then just continue knitting to the end of the row, normally. And at the end of that row, Turn and again cast off 10. So that is casting off from the other end and then we'll have stitches left in the middle. So again here, cast off 10. After you have cast off 10 at both ends, this is what we get. And when we are looking at the finished sock, we are here. So this half will fold over here. And this is where you can just use your imagination and make it whatever way you like it. So you could, for instance, do like in this here one, change the color each time you have gone back and forth. Or, or depending on your skills, just use any kind of knitting you like. And you could, of course, continue like this, just doing the garter stitch. 
What I'm doing with this one is simply knit it plain. So it will be like this here one. Garter stitch here and stockinette, just plain knitting here. And now knit 13 rows on these here stitches. And I'll start by a knit row again. So I'll knit to the end of this. Then turn and, uh, and purl this row, again slipping the first stitch without knitting. And just purl. Again, whichever way you are used to purling. This is my technique for purling. And this is what you continue. You knit on the knitted side and purl on purl rows until you get 13 rows done. Here's 13 rows and now we'll decrease the stitches for the toes. The 14th row is a purl row but in case you have been doing something different here whether you have a knit row or a purl row here you do the same thing. You decrease by knitting two together or purling two together like I do. So just purl two together right through the whole row, which of course decreases the number of stitches by half and continue till the end of the row there and then turn and do the same for the next row. This time I'm knitting them together so just always two stitches together, decreasing. And after this row, we won't have too many left. But we'll decrease still on that last row. For me, it's a pearl row, so two together two together and one more time. There, three stitches left and now you can cut the yarn and pass the end through the stitches. So here we are and then we need to either sew or crochet the piece together. So you fold it and I'll first sew this here bit, just with very small stitches here. And then you will either sew this here right along neatly or else you can also crochet that from the right hand side. That looks a little bit different. I have done that on these two and I'll also crochet this here one now. For crocheting this together turn it the right side round and I'm actually using a different color so it shows better and get the crochet hook and I'm starting here. So insert the hook through both sides and make a stitch. It holds it better if you make the first stitch using both the yarn and the end of the yarn. There and then let the other one go. And then I'll make a single crochet always passing the hook through both sides just for one loop, through one loop and making a single crochet, single crochet in the American term. Stitch from this side and the other side. Pull through, yarn over and pull through both. 
both sides. And keep going like that until here, like that. And then here we have different stitches because of different knitting. So we have a big stitch at the end of each row. So I'm actually taking now both sides of that stitch. So always have two loops on both sides. Otherwise just continue the same. Through that there stitch and another one from the other side. And then pull through all of them. And again. Just make sure you don't skip any so that you finish at the same time on both ends here. And then keep going until the end here. There. And then cut and weave in the threads. Here it is finished.